Ahoy, this is Zdenka. I have a very interesting topic for today's video. Canon EOS M50 color profiles. Which color profile am I using? How do you import flat profile to your camera and should you even use it? This is a very interesting topic. Let's discuss it in today's video. Let me show you all examples and test it out fully. Let's roll the intro. If you are new here, my name is Zdenka Darla. I work as a photographer since 2007. I make tutorials, tech reviews, and creative camera challenges. So you might want to consider hitting the subscribe button. So let's grab the M50. Make sure your video mode is selected. Hit the menu button. Select shooting settings. Press OK. Go to page three where you have picture style. Here you have selection of different color profiles. In very simple words, selecting a certain color profile will result in a little bit different color look you will see on the display. For better understanding, let me go ahead and show you sample footage in each color profile. First one here we have auto. Second, standard. Third color profile is portrait. Number four, we have landscape. one is fine detail number six is neutral number seven faithful Eighth color profile is monochrome. Number nine, under user def one, I have cine style, which is flat profile. You will not have it on the camera. I installed it there and I'll show you how later in this video. I personally keep it on standard at all time. Even all my colorful B-roll from the past videos were shot on that profile. I find that I like the colors the best and it's quite easy for me to color grade. I really don't have that much time to waste and spend in color grading. So I want things very easy and very simple, as simple as possible. If I color grade, then I'll just mainly check the skin tone. If it is not too blue, not too orange, not too yellow, not too green. So it looks quite realistic. And then perhaps I bring the highlights a little bit down and the low lights I bring a little bit up to create a bit softer look. Here and there, you might run into a situation where you have to deal with very high contrast scene, where you end up with the blown out highlights. In that moment, it is actually better to shoot in log or flat color profile. What it is, it's a very flat, very low contrast image, but it does have a lot of data, a lot of info in it. So when you actually color grade the footage, you will end up with a better result. The downside to it though, is that it takes a very long time to color grade it properly. <laughs> A 
As you already know, Canon EOS M50 doesn't have a flat profile installed in the camera. Why? Because it is only 8-bit color camera. What it means that if you shoot in a log profile or flat profile, the image quality will be actually worse. The flat profile is mainly made for 10-bit cameras. If you are interested to learn a lot more about this, I actually found a very good read online, very technical, very detailed, with a lot of samples. Um, I'm including the link in the video description below, so feel free to check that out after this video. If you still want to install it on your camera, you can use it for YouTube, I don't see a problem there, or just want to learn how to color grade, or just play with it, test it out, I'll show you how to do it. It's completely free and it's called CineStyle. Link to the Technicolor website where you can download CineStyle color profile is in the video description below. Simply go to the website, fill out the form, you will get email with the link where you can download the file. Extract the zip file to your computer. You also need EOS utility program. If you don't have it, you can grab it from Canon website. Next, connect your camera to the computer, turn the camera on, and EOS utility should automatically open. Hit register picture style file and upload your saved cine style. Done. Now you have your cine style color profile under user 1. Well, hit the thumbs up button if you like today's video, subscribe to all future videos like these. If you have any questions, comments, or simply want to say hello, you can do so in the video comment section below. You know I always read it all and I always respond. And I'll see you, my friends, in the next video. Ciao, ahoy.